<laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to the Devil Shroom Gaming Channel. My name is Devil Shroom. It's not really as Jade, but you know. Um, I've decided to play a bit of- oh, sorry, my mouse was just showing. This is a scapegoat too. Um, this isn't going to be a full walkthrough, I just decided I thought I'd play something a little bit different today because screw you, I'm not in the mood for put Whispered World or Vampire Story. Um, but some more of that will be coming up very, very soon anyway. Um, so I thought I'd take a little break and we play some Escape Goat. Now I never actually played the first one, um, but I've heard the second one is essentially the same as the first one, just sort of slightly up, more updated graphics. So um, I thought I'd just leap straight in and, you know, play this one rather than play the first one. Um, just a quick note, I've got quite a bad throat today. Um, if you've watched any of my other videos that I've recorded around the same time, which will probably go out before this, um, you can hear that I've got a bit of a cold coming on anyway, and it seems to be getting worse. So, got a bit of the mild death. It's great. So, anyway, let's jump straight in. Oh, yeah. I have actually played this before, but I, it was a little while ago, so let's just start a new game. Ooh. One by one they arrived, each forsaking the freedom you had granted them. Here they shall stay forever. Along with anyone who dares step inside the stronghold. A, you know, it's a very deep narrative here. But, um, yeah, apparently this game, I mean, I've played so far, um, and it's okay, but it's, I think these, the puzzles do get pretty challenging. So let me just play a bit. Of course, at the beginning, it's all pretty easy. If I remember correctly, I think, there we go. So it's, there we go. So it's, it's quite a classic looking, um, platform game. Uh, yeah, see? I love how you, like, right, to do, to teach you that move, you basically have to already know, um, that, oh, oh, I see, okay, no, forget it, this level teaches you how to jump and double jump, and yeah, it's all done with the arrow, uh, keys, including the menu as well, um, Z to jump, and X to ram, uh, in that kind of classic, um, yeah, quite classic sort of um, oh, platformer style. Um, so come here, we get the key. And you know, similarly as other platform games, you get keys and you open new doors and levels and areas to explore. Bing. And you know, there's different sections and different. I wouldn't necessarily call them worlds, but. I knew you'd come. I'm taking a nap. Just ahead. Um, I believe that's one of our sheep friends. Okay, I think we can ram these. I was wrong. We can't ram them. Uh, but we should be able to get up here. Here we go. Can you actually? No, you can't. I thought... Mm. It's the second level. I don't know what to do. Right, come this way. Um... There we go. So as you can see, a lot of the game is about you know changing your environment and uh, using it around you. So, but I know I don't want to do. Wait, did I want to do that? No, I don't want to do that. Oh, can't, yeah, no, I did want to do that. I did want to do that. Everyone, calm down. I got this. All right, just trust me. I will say this: the music is really good in this game as well. Something you can probably jam to. Oh my god! There we go. We got this. We got this. Right, so we've got a few more things in there. Oh, right, yeah. So you can get across like gaps like this by. It's pretty sick. Okay, this way. I oh, should be able to ram this. There we go. Must you always make such a racket? Right, okay, so. Uh, what do those buttons do down there? Oh, I guess it doesn't matter. Uh. Teddy got my groove on. Mean techno beat. Is this techno? What do you call this techno? 
I'm not very good with my music genres. I can't really tell the difference. Oh, yeah, here's where we start getting companions. So you see the little sleeping mouse up there. We need to go. We need to find him and wake him up. Oh. keep changing. I think the entrance has disappeared. Let's travel together and find a way out. Okay, so now if you come here, press C. And he would, you know, he'll do stuff off his own accord, but he will always, um, as you can see, crawl around the edges <clears throat> of whatever you're standing on. Uh, so we need to get to the key. Oh, he needs to come this way. If you go, um, press C, he comes back to you. Go to. There we go. If I remember correctly, he. As you hit the door, he should automatically return to you. I would hope so, because I gotta take him to the next level. There we go. <clears throat> I think we meet a few more. If I'm, there's a bird, I think, as well. I think. I try and remember. I'm trying to remember how far I got. Do, 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 do. And you, you keep him with you, so now I can go like this. Drop him here. It's very good. Changes the whole level for me, which is much less convenient. Um. Okay. Right, so then I can go here, bring him back. Oh. Crumbs. Okay. Uh. Okay, alright, alright. Oh, crumbs. Come back here. Uh, bugger. Oh, wait, hold on. There, oh. Ah, oh, there we go. There we go. This game got a bit panicky there for a second that I didn't know what was going on. There we go, right. Um, I'm not gonna lie, that looks like death. Um... You can also change the way your mouse goes by if you hold the arrow keys as you press C. So, for example, I'm standing here. If I wanted him to uh, go around the edge of what was above me, I press the up arrow and C. Um, if I wanted to go down, it's the same thing. But he's not doing anything because he's shit. Oh, there. Ah. And I think if we ram it again. Oh, no. Guess not. Oh, no. I think I've got to ram this. Nope. Sweet. Lush. Oh. I think if I remember correctly, this game plays be well, they suggest you use a um um an Xbox controller to play this, which is probably why the, the keys are um Z and X. Um, so I'm going to suppose this game originally came out and was probably made for the um, Xbox Arcade. Oh, down. See, oh, see, look, see, it's telling you. Oh. oh, there we go. So you can sit him down. So he, you know, if you press, I think, yeah, I think if you press down and see, he doesn't, you know, climb around the edges, which is great. It means you can, you know, like I said, get him to sit on buttons and things like that. Let's go see what's over here first. Nothing. A grand total of absolute fuck all. <laughs> Oh, small sheep friend. Hello. Where am I? Where are my brethren? They were here a moment ago. They must have been scattered. And I, I didn't finish the text. That's so freaking rude. That's so rude. Oh, hang on. Oh, huh. ah, here we go. Can you find them for me? There we go. See? See? That's all we wanted. That's all we wanted. Um. Oh. I know what we have to do. We have to move our mouse friend. Oh. <sighs> Sorry. While we were in the correct place, obviously. So there we go. Sheeps are all released! Spine of the stronghold. See, look, so you open, you can start. I mean, I can choose whether to go up or down, but I think I'm gonna go. Um, oh no, I have to complete this sort of 
in the middle room. Oh yeah, these these are like rooms that um, I guess you can call this like a castle hallway of sorts. Oh, woods of the duplicity. She friend. Now you're presented with a choice. What would it be? Goat? The forest? Or upwards in hopes of escape? Uh, I think the forest. Myself. Oh, crumbs. Oh, god darn it. There we go. <clears throat> Let's do the forest. Let's do the forest. Let's do some extracurricular. Extra 